When we're asleep, we have no idea what we do. If you sleep alone, it can be even more difficult to know what you did while you were asleep. Most people will roll over every few hours when they get uncomfortable while they're sleeping. There are some who talk in their sleep and some who even walk in their sleep. It's impossible to know exactly what happens while you're sleeping because, well, you're asleep at the time. This young girl was going to sleep each night and in the morning her parents would notice new bruises on her body. Now at first this happened only occasionally and the bruises were pretty light, so they didn't really worry about it. Most days you couldn't see the bruises unless you really looked up close, but over time things got worse in more ways than one. The girl's bruises were getting worse and they appeared more frequently and this brought all kinds of trouble to the family. When the couple would send their daughter to summer camp, she'd wear shorts and it wasn't long before the staff started to notice those bruises on her legs. Each day that she was going to camp, she had fresh bruises. The staff had a responsibility to report what they saw to authorities and while this was happening, the girl's parents were also worried about the bruises. At first, they thought that she might have an iron deficiency that was causing her to bruise easily. The girl's parents made an appointment with her doctor for testing. Before they had a chance to get to the doctor's office, social services visited their home. They explained that they got a call from the summer camp about a potential child abuse situation. The young girl's parents were at a loss for words. They knew that they had never and that they never would hurt their child. Unfortunately, though, the proof supposedly was stacked up against them. Since they couldn't really explain the origin of the bruises, it did not look good for those parents. The social worker spoke with the little girl and she denied that there was any abuse in the home. She explained that she woke up with the bruises each day. When the girl's parents told the social workers that they'd already scheduled a doctor's appointment to find out why she was getting bruises, they agreed to put the case on hold. Since the parents had done something about it, they agreed to wait for the doctor's findings. The girl's parents took her to the appointment and the doctor ran a battery of tests on her. When the test came back, they couldn't find anything wrong with the girl. For her parents, this was a blessing, but also a curse. They were thankful that their daughter didn't have a serious medical condition, but that meant that they were no closer to finding out where the bruises were coming from. They were also no closer to getting social services off their backs. The little girl's parents decided they had to do something to get to the bottom of this problem. Finally, they decided to do something about it and the girl's father stopped at the store on the way home to buy a video camera. They decided that they would set up the camera in their daughter's room to find out what was causing her bruises. That night, her father set up the camera on the desk and started recording. The little girl's parents kissed her goodnight, turned off the light and left the room. Both of her parents slept soundly that night because they knew they'd finally be able to have all the answers to their questions the next morning. At least, they hope so. The next morning, the little girl again had fresh bruises on her legs. Her father went to her room, retrieved the video camera and set it up so they could view the tape and what they saw was shocking. While their daughter was sleeping, she wasn't walking, she was crawling. And what made things so strange is that she was crawling backwards. She looked like she was possessed the way that she was moving while she slept. Her parents were horrified the way their daughter was moving in her sleep didn't even seem human. As disturbing as the video was, her parents finally had the answer to their questions. Her father contacted social services and let them view the tape. The case was closed and they were referred to a sleep specialist. I might also suggest they contact an exorcist, but that's just my personal opinion.